Welcome to the next system test on my voice evacuation fire alarm demonstration board. There's a big change in this test, what you know you're gonna like. As you can hear and see, this system now has simplex voice evacuation. How? Well, the wheel lock panel is still here. I've just finally been able to put together the external required materials and figured out how to reprogram some of the messages on this panel. It's not as simple as just pushing the record button and talking to the microphone. Um, there's a couple other things required in order to make new messages and I finally put together what I needed and figured out how to do it. Which is amazing. This literally opens up a whole new world of ideas I now have for system tests on this board. So I can make custom pre-recorded messages now. And that means I can make messages like the simplex voice evacuation message and messages from other companies and then also messages that I make with my voice. So this is huge. I'm really excited to show everyone this because this system test series just became a lot more interesting. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm really happy about it. Anyways, for alarms in this test, you may have noticed I have this simplex speaker strobe that I recently unboxed and its model number is the 4903-9356 and obviously it's the non-smart sync version or at least it has the switch on the inside. Um, I show more of this alarm in the unboxing video so definitely go check that out if you want to see more of it. Uh, going to the left I have a Gentex GHLF W, low frequency sounder horn only. And I have this set up in combination with a different custom message on the voice evacuation panel, which it makes a pretty cool tone when, uh, I'll show it to you later in the system test. And then to the left here, I have a Simplex 4901-9820 horn. Yep, this is a horn and not a speaker. And that is why I have the, uh, there's, why, why there's troubles on the fire alarm control panel is because I, I have this horn here disabled just so that I could show you just the message. But we'll go ahead and reset the fire alarm control panel and we'll re-enable that horn so that you can hear both the simplex horn and the simplex voice evacuation when I pull another fire alarm. So we'll reset this. And then um, before we re-enable, the horn. I'll go ahead and explain one more thing. You may have noticed that that simplex voice evacuation message was kind of shortened and that is because on the Wheelock SP MNS voice evacuation amplifier um, when I'm making custom messages in the field it will only allow me to record messages up to 30 seconds long. So I can only have a 30 second sound bite when I make custom messages. But it's still cool I think. Um, anyways, we'll go ahead and log into the panel here and re-enable that horn. Go down to System Setup. Go to, to NAC. I believe it's NAC 1. Yep. And we'll go ahead and enable it. 
So now the system is resetting. We'll let it reset and then we'll pull another fire alarm so that you can hear both the tone, the horn tone and the voice evacuation message at the same time. The system's reset. Let's go ahead and pull the fire alarm again. Here we go. Push in, pull down. I don't know about you, but that is really cool. Um, for whatever reason, the SPMNS beeps just for a second every time after I silence the alarm. Um, it's because it goes into trouble, and I don't know why. Um, but the trouble is only there for like a second, just long enough for it to beep, and then it goes away. So I don't even know what the trouble is. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and reset the pull station. And then we will reset the entire fire alarm control panel. So I have this blue pulse station programmed into the low frequency sounder so that only that will sound whenever you pull it. And then I also have the speaker programmed in so that it will play a custom message. And that custom message is more of a custom tone. Um, I pulled a sound bite from the emergency alert system that is here in the United States. So it'll play that sound you hear whenever your phone gets an emergency alert in the United States. So the low frequency sounder does kind of overpower the emergency alert sound. So I hope you still can hear it, but here it is. Let's go ahead and pull it. go the system is now reset or resetting so I think that's going to conclude today's test I'm really excited to make some more tests with the system now thank you all for watching definitely subscribe uh, check out some of my other videos that I have on this channel too because there's a lot of other really cool stuff if you found any of this interesting thank you all for watching have a great day